Good evening, I'm Clayton Baumgarth. Indiana universities and leaders are reacting to the U.S. Supreme Court decision to end affirmative action in college admissions. Several universities issued statements indicating they intended to follow the law. Indiana University says it's committed to fostering a learning environment with, quote, a broad range of backgrounds. Indiana's Black Legislative Caucus says the decision runs the risk of, quote, huge decreases of African American and minority students among college populations, which will have long lasting impacts for generations to come. U.S. Senator Todd Young says housing affordability is a major impediment as communities and companies try to match workers with available jobs. Much of Young's proposed legislation is aimed at lower income housing and neighborhoods. Most people who live in low income housing tax credit homes uh, have jobs. Uh, they're trying to support families. Young says the need for housing also goes beyond younger people in the workforce with older Hoosiers wanting the choice to age in place. All of Young's housing affordability proposals have bipartisan support. Finally tonight, the Indiana Department of Environmental Management has issued an Air Quality Action Day and forecasted high ozone levels for today. IDEM encourages everyone to help reduce ozone by making changes such as driving less, avoiding the use of gas-powered lawn equipment until after 7 p.m., and setting your thermostat to 75 degrees or higher. Children, the elderly, and anyone with heart or lung conditions should reduce or avoid exertion and heavy work outdoors. Air quality action days are in effect from midnight to 11.59 p.m. And now for a quick look at weather. Low of 68 tonight with those storms rolling through the rest of the evening. And as we get into the rest of the week, lots more storms on the way, mid-80s through to Tuesday. For more local news, you can go to WTIUNews.org and catch Indiana News Desk Fridays at 6. Have a great evening.